structure analysis to capture eight reflections by using energy method. This problem have a connection of two bars, a support like a pin support at A and a roller support at C. Have two members A, B, and C, and a concentrated load in hydrogen polycon situation applied to over here. EA for all members are equal, and we want to know what is the horizontal displacement of joint. So, if there is a horizontal force at your location and you want to the effect of horizontal displacement, that horizontal loading, that's definite force and energy metal. But, for example, if the same problem is Want to observe the effect of vertical displacement of point B. The upward mean downward displacement, but there is no force in the y direction, so we need to apply a one of neutral warfare and then neutral or metal calculate. Delta y direction, either downward or, but because we have want to calculate the horizontal displacement at joint B, and at the same time we have a horizontal force, so work and energy will force metal for that enough to solve our problem. Let's attempt the problem. So the rise of a run of each member is given and the distance between. At A and roller also provided to the stance of L. Just create a line. Simply can project the length of L, which is here. AB member, and that's L, AB, L times cosine of alpha, and rise of the line is over four. And that cosine of alpha it just leads to length of AB, total length and three over five. The same for the other part, length over C number this time, and it just gives us length of BC is L sine of beta this time, and that's L times four over five. As soon as we have that, we can get forces at joint D, and by looping the summation of forces at X direction goes zero, this gives us a negative V over five at A plus four of over five of F B C plus P goes zero all the equation one. Other one some forces in Y direction goes zero. Same for forces and replacing one into just gives us F A B over five of, of total load of P at the top. So, have this equation. Use that by, by the previous equation. We can get the FAB, which is at 3 over 5 times, and FBC is negative 4 over 5 times P. And by using the internal energy method, which is half of the area under or delta, area of triangle. Delta at B is equal to 1 over 2 pi, which A of A, B, and A of B, C is the same. You can take that out here, and F, A, B is 4 times length of A, B, C is 4 times length of B, C, and it just solves our only unknown with delta at B. After that, we place it with value, you can easily have it like. P times delta P is equal to F A B just comes from the previous part, which is the other five squared times length of A B, which is here, and force of C, length of B C comes from here. Add them all, all up together, it just gives you a delta P, which is equal to 91 over 125, definitely 
get over in case just needs you a almost 0.8 L over e a for delta I think. Can we solve this problem and get easier? Yes, for solution two, just create the longer forces like what you can see here F A B F B C and then just replace the force at P. That y to the P. Just move it down here and remove these triangle of forces. As soon as we have that, also these are the problem and statement and price of the things taking opening up and be careful calculating the length of each part, which is four over five and three over five. As soon as we have that, you can easily say now one over p times delta is real work and energy method, real force method. It just replacing the new weight value, it just gives us the same new value for horizontal delta at p. Definitely that's to right. And that's point 128 PL over EA, which is exactly the same the previous uh, answer of previous uh, solution, but with the far less equation. But you have to be careful about open force triangle, have it like correct and get the correct answer. You can also solve this problem with Castigliano's method, solve it later on time.